Hi, hope you are doing well. Today I am going to take up an excerpt from the diary of Anne Frank. This is part of your class 10 English syllabus. The textbook is First Flight and unit is 4. I am going to talk about the life and diary of Anne Frank. We all know about Anne Frank. You must have heard about Anne Frank or read about Anne Frank in history books or in other magazines etc. Let's look at the picture of Anne Frank. This is the picture of her diary and this is the picture of Anne Frank. She was just 13 years old when she started writing her diary. She started writing her diary on 12th June 1942 and she continued writing till 1st August 1944. You must be wondering what language is this? Yes, this is not English. This is Dutch. She used to write in Dutch language. Later on her diary was translated into English and then into many more languages. Anne Frank's full name was Annelies Marie Anne Frank and her diary comes under the yawner autobiography. Her diary was the reflection of her ideas, her feelings, her emotions, her observations around the world. She talked about her family, herself, her friends. So this is an autobiographical element. And the title, the original title of the diary was The Diary of a Young Girl and popularly known as The Diary of Anne Frank. The Diary of Anne Frank was published posthumously on June 25th, 1947. The diary was actually titled The Diary of a Young Girl. It comes under the honor autobiography. Why? Diary also is also an a separate yawner because in her diary she has talked about her family, herself, her observations, her experiences, her feelings, her happy moments, her sad moments. So there is an element of autobiography in it. So when all these pages were put together it became an autobiography of Anne Frank because she talks about her family, her birthdays, her friends, her sister, everybody and it was published in English in 1952. This diary is also popularly known as the diary of Anne Frank but the actual and the original title was the diary of a young girl. When her father came back after the world war got over to the annex where the family was staying he found Anne Frank's diary and he started reading it and he felt that every word was speaking. Every sentence was creating a vivid picture, the way the girl had described everything. So I will read the words of Otto Frank that will express his feelings for Anne Frank. In the words of Otto Frank, for me it was a revelation. There was revealed a completely different Anne to the child that I had lost. I had no idea of the depths of her thoughts and feelings. He realized that at the age of 13 or at the age of 15 you can say because she wrote her diary for 2 years. She was writing her diary like a mature person. Her observations were very mature. She was looking at things from a perspective. Her observations were not childish. Therefore, he said that I found an another aspect of my child Anne whom he had lost. This diary was gifted to Anne on her 13th birthday. The moment she got this diary, she was very happy. Why do you think she was happy? She was happy because she found someone to talk to. She named the diary Kitty and she called the diary her friend. 
Do you know? Anne Frank was very fond of talking. But she didn't have anybody to talk to because elders are busy. They have their serious issues to discuss. They have to run the house. So, she didn't find anyone to talk to. She was very happy to talk to her diary. She, she, she started recording her feelings about her childhood memories, about her family, about her friends. And this is how we come to know a lot from her diary. Anne Frank lived only for 15 years. And she was a very wise, a very optimistic girl. She was a Jewish girl of Dutch and German ancestry. All these things we come to know from her diary only. She wrote while hiding with her family and four friends in Amsterdam during the German occupation of the Netherlands in World War II. You can look at the first publication of her diary. The diary chronicles the events of Anne's life from 12 June 1942 until its final entry of 1st August 1944. It has been mentioned that this is a work of a mature and insightful mind. This diary has been adapted into several films, television serials and theatrical productions and even an opera. It provides an intimate examination of daily life under Nazi occupation. So, when Anne Frank started writing her diary, first of all, she introduces the readers to her diary, to her family, to her friends. Yes, that makes sense. When we are writing a diary and we do not provide a context, then the reader will not understand what is the background. Therefore, Anne was wise enough to begin her diary with introduction about her family. She tells us about her father and she was very fond of her father, her mother, her grandmother, how she stayed with her grandmother when her family shifted to Amsterdam. And when they shifted to Amsterdam in 1941, her grandmother could not come with them because she was not well. She had to undergo an operation. And on Anne's 13th birthday in 1942, which she says was not really celebrated, but they remembered her grandmother. And a candle was lit in the memory of her grandmother also. So, it was a very close knit family. They loved each other. They looked after each other and they were very fond of each other. And then she started writing the diary. As you already know that she had named her diary Kitty and she treated her diary as a friend because she would pour all her feelings onto the diary, her emotions, her sadness, her happiness, her great moments, her sad moments were all shared with her diary. So, whatever I have shared with you right now is given in your textbook. I am sure you will read about it. When you read about it, you will know all of this very easily. You will understand it nicely. So, what do we gather about Anne's personality over here? What kind of a person was she? She was mature? Yes, a 13 year old was not telling us about frivolous things. She was looking at things like a mature person. She was down to earth. She understood the situation very well. She understood that the situation was grim. Probably they were listening to the radio and they heard about everything that was going on outside during the world war and it was a very sad moment. She was insightful. She not only observed things, she had an insight for the things. If things are happening in a particular way, 
then there are ways to mend it also. She was brave. The situation was grim, but she was not grim because she was optimistic. So that is what we gather about her personality. There is another aspect of her personality that we come to know from her diary. Now this excerpt that we have taken from the diary of Anne Frank tells us about the other side of her personality. She was very caring, she was friendly and at the same time she had a great sense of humour. This is praiseworthy. She was living in confinement. There was no source of entertainment. But she retained her sense of humour and that's remarkable. That's really remarkable. We should not lose heart even in the face of adversity. Now I am going to ask you a few questions based on our discussion. I am sure you will be able to respond to that. Let us discuss why did Anne Frank write her diary? Why do you think she wrote the diary? Yes, you are right that there were a lot of thoughts that were going on in her mind and she wanted to discuss those things with somebody. All the people were very busy. They didn't have time to discuss because they had serious issues to manage. So she started writing on her diary. Writing one's thoughts excess therapy and she considered Kitty as her best friend and she could share with her all the ups and downs in her life. Therefore, she started writing her diary. I am sure you must have read first four pages of the text. Whatever we have discussed till now has been given in the first four pages of the text. Now I am going to ask a few questions. The first one is, why did Anne think she could confine more in her diary than in people? Yes, you know it. Have you written down the answer in your notebooks? I will share mine with you. Anne felt that paper had more patience. You continue writing for hours and hours. Paper is not going to say anything. Paper has the patience. Whereas people don't have the patience. So that is the reason she was very fond of writing diary. So now let us think about it. Why does Anne provide a brief sketch of her life? Yes, we have already discussed about her life. We know she had a sister, her name was Margaret. The family shifted to an annex in her father's office. So all these things she has already mentioned in her diary and we know about it. Why do you think she did that? Because by providing a brief sketch of her life and wants to give an overview of her family, relatives and friends. As readers, this helps us develop a connection with the author. So this provides us with the context. Now let us understand the text. You can look at your screens. I have given an MCQ over here. Pick the correct reason behind and wanting to write a diary. There are four options given over here. You have to find out the correct one. I will read out these four for you. She felt that she could express her thoughts on paper better. She was sad and bored. She did not have a friend. She had a notebook called diary. So which one do you think? is the most appropriate one. Yes, the first one. She felt that she could express her thoughts on paper better. Now pick the odd one out. I will read out for you. Once again it is an MCQ. When I read out for you, please 
mark the correct answer and then I will share mine with you. Anne Frank felt that she could share her thoughts and feelings with her diary more than with any other person because people have less patience to listen to others. True? Yes, that is a fact. People are just not interested. People do not have time. Paper can't replace a friend. So, here we have to find the odd one out, the one which is not applicable, the last one is not applicable. Paper can't replace a friend. Another one, again you have to pick the odd one out. I hope you are reading it on your screens. I will read it out for you. Anne's diary was different from any other ordinary diary because she had named her diary Kitty. She expressed her intimate feelings in it. She considered her diary as a friend. She wrote nothing except facts in it. Yes, which is the odd one out? I am sure you have been able to find the right answer. She writes over here in the text that diary writing is not meant for mentioning only the facts. You have to write so many other things. She used to write about her feelings. She used to express her thoughts onto it. So, therefore, the fourth one is the last one, the odd one. Now, I will read a paragraph from the excerpt of Anne Frank's diary, which is part of your text. I will read it for you. Now, this excerpt tells us about her school experience. This is full of fun. She is very friendly, there is humor, she is very thoughtful about others. So, this tells us about a different aspect of Anne Frank's personality. So, I am going to read an excerpt from the diary of Anne Frank. I will read only one paragraph. You will read the rest. And this excerpt talks about her school life. This is full of fun. There is a lot of humor in this. Children are laughing, children are nervous. Let us see what she writes over here. Dearest Kitty, our entire class is quaking in its boots. Quaking in its boots? What does this mean? This means the entire class is nervous and they are full of fear. The reason of course is the forthcoming meeting in which the teachers decide who will move up to the next form and who will be kept back. Half the class is making bets. Yes, we all go through this situation. When our results are to be announced, we all feel nervous, do not we? Yes, this is a very natural feeling. Now, these children are also feeling very nervous. Today, they are going to get their results and they are all betting who will go to the next form. Next form means next grade and who will be left behind. That is sad. G and and I laugh ourselves silly at the two boys behind us. C and and Jacquez who have stake their entire holiday savings on their bet from morning to night, it is going to, you are going to pass. No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I am not. Even G's pleading glances and my angry outbursts cannot calm them down. If you ask me, there are so many dummies that about a quarter of this class should be kept back, but teachers are the most unpredictable creatures on the earth. So, Anne Frank is saying that teachers are the most unpredictable creatures on the earth. Is that right? Do you think so? No, I do not think so. But Anne Frank says so that you never know who is going to pass and who is going to fail. So, this is the situation that she is describing 
in this excerpt which is part of your text and then she goes on talking about her school now they have to read big more subjects when she was in the primary school she was very happy with the headmistress and even ha the headmistress was very fond of her but here she talks that her maths teacher mr kissing was not happy with her why it's not that she didn't know her maths so well because she used to talk a lot in the class and mr kissing was not fond of talking she she could not stop talking and he did not want anyone to talk in the class so that was the conflict she was facing so and writes that one day mr kissing gave her an essay to write what do you think was the title of the essay the title was of the essay was chatterbox and went home she started doing her homework when her homework was over only the essay was left so she thought about it and she started writing she was very happy with her essay a three page essay she had written and she had given logic that children can't stop talking they can't help talking do you also talk in your classrooms yes all children speak in the classroom they really can't help it so she says that's the trait of the students and the second reason is she has inherited this trait from her mother maybe her mother was also very fond of talking so next day when she went to the class she submitted her essay mr kissing was it seemed was impressed but then he gave her another essay to write the title of the essay was an incorrigible chatterbox once again and wrote whatever she could write the logic the reasoning whatever she could give in her essay she did it but that was not the end and whenever she was given such essays the whole class laughed and ann also laughed with them okay she is being punished in this way on the third day once again she was given another essay titled quack 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 said mistress chatterbox the whole class laughed and also laughed she didn't know what to do but she was little disappointed why again so her friend said i will help you her friend was good in writing poems she was very good at writing poetry so they both started discussing and and came out with a poem which was about quack 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 said mistress chatterbox and the next day when she submitted her essay her poem to mr kissing even he could not help smiling so the now the joke was on mr kissing and frank was doing her work diligently but she could not help talking and mr kissing showed that poem in other classes also okay so this is the excerpt that we have from the diary of anne frank do you think it is related to your classroom situation as well yes to some extent you also talk and your sometimes your teacher also probably gives you essays to write that i will not speak too much in the class all these things do happen now let us discuss the text i have a question for you pick the odd one out look at your screens and dealt with her essay writing assignment by giving convincing arguments that talking is necessary by providing her point that students always talk by saying that she got the quality from her mother by spending time thinking about the topic 
So, which do you think is the odd one out? Let us talk about all the four points. By giving convincing arguments that talking is necessary, yes of course that is right, we all talk. By providing her point, the students always talk, yes of course, students do talk. And then saying that she inherited this quality from her mother. So, these three points are not the odd one out. So, therefore, the fourth one is the odd one out by spending time thinking about the topic. She did think about it, but she did not spend time on it. She started writing. She was able to finish it in good time. There is another question for you. Once again, you have to pick the odd one out and says Mr. Ki Singh was trying to play a joke on her because Mr. Ki Singh gave her ridiculous topics to write on. Okay. Number two, was trying to teach her a lesson, was putting harder challenges before her, was annoyed by her essays. Yes, once again the fourth one is the odd one out. He was not annoyed with her essays, rather he was getting amused with her essays. Yes, of course, he was giving her ridiculous topics to write, chatterbox, incorrigible chatterbox, quack, 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 said mistress chatterbox. So, these were ridiculous topics. They, he was trying to teach her a lesson. So, he was trying to tell to keep quiet in the class, but Anne said no, she cannot keep quiet. Her friends are here, she has to talk to her friends. So, by putting harder challenges before her, yes of course. Every time when Anne had to write the essay, the challenge was harder for her. And the last time her hair friend helped her. So, we have discussed all the questions. Now, I want you to read the text. We discussed the text in two parts. The first part told us about the background of Anne Frank and also gave us the background of world war. Why did they shift from Frankfurt to Amsterdam? Where were they staying in the hiding? in the annex of her father's office, about her family. It was a close knit family. They all loved each other very well. And the second part was about her school experience, which was full of fun. And we also enjoyed reading it with her. Now I want you to read the text on your own. And then we will discuss more aspects related to the diary of Anne Frank.